Hi everyone, welcome to the show. I hope you're having a lovely week. Today I have with me Elaine. Elaine, welcome. Thank you, Michelle. Um, Elaine, what, would you like to tell the viewers exactly what are you cooking for us today? Today I'm going to show you how to make my famous crab curry. Okay, perfect. Is this, is this a Christmas recipe or...? This is a recipe that we use during, that I use during Christmas. It's one of our dishes that uh, graces our, our Christmas dinner table. Oh, lovely. Mm, so that's what I'm going to show you today. Okay, great. I hope you guys are ready for this. For your ingredients, Elaine, would you like to run us through what you have here? I've got uh, sunflower oil, mm -hmm. onions, mm -hmm. grated uh, garlic and some chopped garlic. I see. Um, you actually slice them up. Any yes. particular reason? Uh, well, we, we prefer some grated and some chopped. Okay, sure. Uh, masala. We've got curry leaf, mm -hmm. green chilies, salt to taste, some uh, tamarind yes. and uh, dhania or yes. coriander. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, grated tomatoes All right. and the main ingredient, the crab. Lovely crab. Okay, great. Elena, I must tell you that crab is actually one of my favorite dishes. So I'm thoroughly going to enjoy this preparation. Okay, do you want to get us started? Okay, firstly we're going to use some sunflower oil, okay. which I brought today. But you can use organic coconut oil as well for a healthier option. Is this the one in the tub that you scoop up? That's correct. Okay, sure. Okay, so then we're going to add the onion that's chopped up already. Okay. put this a bit higher All right. so we're basically cooking this on I think uh, three or four that's right yeah, okay. that's right gonna add the curry leaf some green chili all right so I guess that will vary um, it depends on how hot you want this to be correct yes right. and then you can slice the green chili just to let a little bit of the heat come through okay this is dough I'm going to let that to brown a bit. All right. And then we're going to add our crushed garlic. All right. Do you add this in now? And just let this blaze a bit. I've put enough masala here, so all of this is going to go into the curry. About how much of masala are you using for this? Uh, depends. If you like your curry very hot, you can mm -hmm. add a lot. If okay. not, a little. So, so that's about um, maybe a tablespoon, uh, two tablespoons okay. or so. Okay. Yes, sure. because there's some heat from the chili as well. Oh, yes. Thank you. So we're basically going to uh, get this to braise a bit, mm -hmm. and then we're going to add in the the crab. The crab. All right. Okay. Uh, regarding the crab, I see that you've already cleaned the crab. Did mm -hmm. you buy it clean, or did you clean it yourself? Well, for the younger generation, there's lots of cleaned crab already. You could buy that and use. Or you know, we're always looking for the easy <laughs> way out. So let's go with the clean crab. Yes, or you can buy the one that's uncleaned, which is a bit messy, but it's, um, it's the same thing. If, you need, if you're looking for convenience, you buy the unclean one. My secret to cleaning crab is my dad. <laughs> he okay. actually cleans the crab for us. Oh, okay. I, I prefer buying the uncleaned okay. crab. I clean it myself. Okay, so we're going to stir this and leave it to braise for a while. Okay. How long do you leave it to braise? About um, 10 minutes. 10 minutes to break. Okay, mm -hmm. great. On the same temperature? Same temperature. Okay. We have let the crab to cook on a um, heat of about 5 or 6 now. We've actually upped the heat. And it's cooking now for about 10 minutes, Elaine. That's right, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the next step? Before we get to the next step, I see you, you, you are using orange crab. Any yes. particular reason? We prefer the, 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 the bigger pieces of crab oh, because it's right. easier to eat. Okay. The smaller ones are... But hard. Hard, yeah. All right. Okay. So now that it's, it's dried up, we're going to add tomato. the tomato. All right. So you can also use tomato puree as well if you don't want to grate. Yes, you can do that. And now, now this is my method of, of cooking crab. Okay. But the other method, you can add the tomato, make it into a chutney, then and you then add your add crab. crab. Okay. But this is a recipe that I've been using for a while, and I, I prefer this. Okay. Sure. Okay. So 
let's add on add some salt salt I'm just gonna add in with my hand mm -hmm. because that's the way I measure at home okay uh, but uh, and it's all to taste right? All right so if you want more you add more so how long are we going to leave this we're for? gonna leave this to 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 simmer for about uh, 10 minutes Right. Or until the, the tomatoes cook. Okay, sure. Right? And the a gravy comes up, the oil comes up. Okay. We've left the crab now to cook for about 10 minutes. It smells absolutely divine. What's the next step, Elaine? Okay, so now we're going to add the tamarind water. Before we add the tamarind water, I just wanted to ask you regarding the crab, um, you were saying something about it being frozen and waiting for, it, for the oil to come up. What exactly is that? You see, when you buy the crab, it's. Yes. Um, frozen yes. usually there's water in it mm -hmm. so when you're braising i prefer to braise it let the water dry up yes and then you continue with the cooking oh process. i see okay great right so now we're going to add the tamarind how much of this are you using uh i would say at about uh three tablespoons okay sure okay so we're going to let this to simmer a bit so this basically just gives the curry a bit of a soury taste that's right that's okay. right okay and then we're going to let that to simmer a bit. And how long do we leave this for? About five minutes. All right, sure. So the crab's been cooking now for almost half an hour with 10 minutes intervals with each That's procedure. Right. Okay, so we're ready now to go with our plating. Elaine? Okay. The crab looks lovely. Um, the crab is looking even absolutely lovely. It smells absolutely nice. So you can add your coriander now, okay. or dania, or you can plate it first, extra gravy. Yes. So I guess what's, what's the little secret about this is you have to have extra gravy as well. Yes. Okay. And there you go. That's ready. So there we have it, guys. Your... Um, Crab curry, and you're serving it with rice. Yes, that's correct. Uh, yellow basmati rice. Okay. And the only accompaniment to this uh, dish, uh, Michelle, in our home, is some extra paper towels. I'm sure, guys, you would also enjoy this. And I think this is no lie. Every home needs a paper towel when they eat crab. So thank you, Elaine, for coming in and sharing this thank recipe you with us. Me. Guys, remember, cooking is love made perfect, and which is what it, uh, Elaine has actually shown us today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and also ask your family and friends to subscribe to our YouTube videos. Take care and God bless.